Hey there everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Maker Fix, the channel where we're all about diving into unique DIY experiences. This one's a little bit different. I'm going to try my hand at lock picking for the very first time. And guess what? I've got good reason for it. I recently bought something new and it's really cool, but unfortunately there's one little hiccup. It's locked. Before we dive into this learning experience, I want to emphasize that lockpicking should be done responsibly and with legal intent. Now, I understand that lockpicking might not be something that everyone's familiar with or something that you're comfortable trying, but that's the beauty of DIY and exploration. We're here to learn, to grow and to do things together. I'm thrilled to have you along for the ride. I bought myself a kit, opened it up quickly just to see what's inside the lock that i need to pick looks like this one so i guess we'll start with this one i did look at a couple of pictures before so the lock is upside down in my case i guess so that'll help me so i know you have to put pressure on the cylinder it's basically this part here so the lock's gonna be like this which way does this turn to open? If I like to open this up, then it turns to the right. I think I have to put some pressure on there. And then, whew, which one do I use? There's two of these, I guess this one. So what happens next? Let's try to move one of those pins. Yes, yes, I got it. <laughs> okay. So that wasn't too bad. So one down. Let's see if it was just luck. So a keyway can go both there. Oh no, it can't go there. So you should definitely be careful because how do I know which way? Yeah, I think it's always gonna be clockwise, right? Okay. Four, do I stick on four? I'm saying the exact same thing as uh, the lock picking lawyer. Nice click on four. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's probably gonna be a lot <laughs> more difficult on the lock I have than it is gonna be on these practice locks. But this one's good, good. This one's good. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Okay. So I can see it. So let's see if we can do it without looking, right? Yeah. Okay. It's actually <laughs> surprisingly easy if you get a little bit of time to practice, I guess. Okay, so the lock will be upside down. Yeah. Oof. Okay. So if you can if you can look at the cylinder, it's actually quite easy to do. Close my eyes for this one. What? actually starting to think that they make these things easy so that people like it but okay let's go in there again around I think yeah so let's go oh. yeah eyes closed wow that's actually pretty scary okay let's try the other one blindfolded Oof. 
there's no way it's that easy with normal keys no way yes way it might be a few more videos before you see the results of this learning experience but if you like to find out what i'm breaking into please go ahead subscribe leave a comment and like that way you'll always be notified when my upcoming videos are released that's it for this one thanks for watching bye why was the lock picking class always so crowded because everyone wanted to unlock their potential